bones and today we're going to have a little conversation about yesterday's new figures that will be available at Target and also some new listings or rumored figures that were found today uh first off yesterday McFarland did put a lot of stuff on Target on the Target website there was a mistake at first so some people were getting figures for I think 20 bucks that were actually supposed to be uh, I think like 80 bucks or something like that uh, a lot of chatter on the internet talking about how they better stick to that price that that they got when the orders first went up now <laughs> this was of course a, a glitch somewhere in the whoever was putting the stuff on the website uh, I wasn't involved in that so whoever did get on there you know cr fingers crossed you get a cool figure for 20 bucks but you never know what's going to happen, what the final decision will be about those orders. But tons of figures on there. You did have a new page punchers that is going to be the Batman, but like in a kind of comic black and white version with just, you know, just like stylized in the comic version. And this is basically because one of the covers was like an alternate black and white cover and it is Batman. So... Uh, for me, this is one of those that I kind of treat like the platinum figures that if I do come across one or if I finally get one for a good price, I pick it up. But I'm not going to like kill myself to hunt one down. But eventually, I always end up trying to pick those up. So I say if you like that figure or you want it for the collection, go ahead and pick it up. But it's not a you know killer for your collection if you don't get that one. But as a completist, I will eventually pick pick it up. So pretty pretty nice then you did have the Lex Luthor which we actually received before it was the dark side version and the regular power suit green version and a lot of people were customizing and putting capes on it and switching the heads and we did get like a little hint that this was going to be a figure it is a gold label figure and basically they just took the head from the regular power suit and they just switched it and put it on the dark side suit body and added a red cape. Now, a lot of people are complaining about the eyes because of course it does have the side eyes there, which was on the original figure. Now, I don't really like this decision because this was a good opportunity for them to put, you know, the, the eyes straight looking and, and please everybody. But for some reason, they went with the side eye. Now, this isn't uh, finalized until people start picking them up. But, I mean, if it is side eye, it is what it is. Uh, of course, I could go ahead and make them straight if I want to. But a lot of people kind of peed off about that. But this is, of course, in reference of Lex Luthor. When he tries to play Superman, he becomes kind of like the Superman hero for his world. And kind of takes over his spot at being a hero so uh, definitely pick it up I mean you know it is going into the collection but again you know if you don't like it or it, you know doesn't suit your collection don't pick it up but we do have to understand that this is a business decision they have to get as much money as they can for any mold that they can so that they can make their money back for making original molds and I, for one, do not hold this against McFarlane at all in any form. He could put out as many reuse figures as he wants with different heads or what, different accessories because I know that this will all lead to us getting completely new original scopes. And that's uh, something that's way more better than just reusing the same book over and over again. Now, another figure that was shown was the Dark Detective, but without his cape. And actually, this one for me, I really like it because I kind of fell in love with the Dark Detective figure. Ooh, I'm definitely going to pick it up. I might even pick up three. One for my Inbox collection and then one for my regular collection. And another reason they might be releasing this figure is because they're going to release a cycle from the Future State. So if they release a Future State cycle, then I'm going to need an extra one to put on the bike for display and then one just for standing and then i could always custom paint one if i so feel inclined so 
uh, definitely picking up that one. I could see why a lot of people would not like it. I mean, basically, the only differences are that he doesn't have the jacket and his sleeves have like a t-shirt cut, which I actually think looks really nice. And I think in the comics, most of his, most of the time he's in this uniform. So pretty definite pickup for me, but you know, everybody could pick their own, make their own decision if they want to pick it up or not. Now the next one was Owlman. And this is a figure that a lot of people have been waiting for. Really anticipated figure, Owlman. He will be completing the next part of the Crime Syndicate wave. You already had Ultraman. Superwoman, which, you know, I'm still trying to hunt down. But some people have already found it. And then you're going to have Owlman. Uh, looks really good. Kind of like a mixture of, like, the versions of Owlman that they are. They kind of mashed it together. And you can even get a little bit of animated feel in that one. But one thing for sure, it's definitely not Night Owl from The Watchmen. It is Owlman from the Crime Syndicate storyline. So he is going to be another, you know, pretty cool Batman rogue to put in there in your collection. I'll definitely be picking him up. He does come with the Starro pieces and another Starro, uh, you know, parasite to hook onto another figure. So... That looks pretty interesting, pretty cool. Definitely looking forward to that one. Uh, one that r really doesn't interest me or phase me at all was the 1966 six inch Batman line, which was the new Catwoman. I mean, I'm pretty sure those uh, old school uh, collectors that loved that 66 stuff were waiting for their uh, Julie Newmar version of Catwoman. I'm sure they're all pretty happy to <laughs> finally get that version that they wanted. But, you know, it doesn't really interest me, but that's for my own reasons. But if you're interested in it, you know, go ahead and add it to your collection. But as for me, uh, I'm going to pass on that one. But I'm pretty happy for everybody else that's finally happy to get their Julie Newmar Catwoman from the 66 Batman. Now, one of the main things that a lot of people were excited about and happened with the price mix-up that they had in the morning was the manga spawn. Uh, now, I think one version was like 80 bucks and it has an actual plaque signed by McFarlane. Uh, this one did sell out, you know, within minutes. Uh, pretty sure a lot of collectors and a lot of scalpers were the ones that did that. And I mean, uh, the thing for me was that I like Spawn, you know, I'm a, I'm a pretty big Spawn fan, but I just never got into the manga stuff. It, even the old classic McFarlane manga figures, I just never went back and started buying those. Like for some reason, you know, they have some cool designs, even like a Violator and all that. But for me, I just never really was a big fan of them. So I kind of skipped that part of the McFarlane line. But I mean, if you like it and you're a big fan of it, then that's great. You know, hopefully you get a signed one or you get, uh, they do have a standard version. I think it's like 30 bucks or something like that. But I'll probably pick up one of those, but I'll do it later on, which is really how I've been picking up most of the spawn figures is like afterwards, once everybody has picked them up. And then I go ahead and scoop one up, you know, so I do have most of them. Uh, I just, you know, collect that line a little bit more slowly, but hey, for everybody that loves Manga Spawn and thinks, you know, it's going to be a cool part of their collection, they did have the signed top version, which is sold out now, and then they did have the regular standard version. Now, you could also hold out because remember what happened with the year two Batman that late, months later, McFarlane did say that it was now restocked, so you could get, you know, one of those year two Batmans like way afterwards, but something to look forward to if the manga spawn is something you want for your collection. Now let's go ahead and talk about the rumored listings. Now these things come from overseas and basically 98, 99% of the things that have been uh, shown before have come to fruition, which is like the hushes and the grifters, all those were actually months before shown, but they do for the most part come true. So these are figures that we could be looking forward to and I do have the list. Now, the list starts off with a Hal Jordan parallax figure. Now, this will be a gold label. This is just how it is listed. And pretty much, this is a Hal Jordan when he starts taking over all the rings. And he's most recognized by having the, the like white part on, on the temples of his hair. Uh, that's usually how they, they show him. 
and you, sometimes he has like armor and stuff on so i'm not sure if it's going to be that version but since it is a gold label it's hard to know if it's going to be basically just the hell jars we got before with more added stuff so actually pretty happy because i've been trying to pick up the dc direct version of parallax so now i'll actually get one in my collection you know so that one sounds pretty cool and then next on the list was another gold label which they put as ocean master now i'm not sure if this is orm uh aquaman's brother i mean it should be since it's ocean master but i did have the idea that the way they did martian manhunter like in the dc classic version for the gold label then maybe they should do that aquaman that they did in the dc classic version which would be a short haired uh, no beard version of Aquaman so that's a dream I have but for all intents and purposes it's probably going to be the regular Ocean Master but cool figure to add to the collection so looking forward to that next on the list was another gold label and this one was an Asbat Nightfall version of the armored suit so really we can't tell if it's going to be a whole new design it is a gold label but it might be just a repainted version of the Asbat we've already received, just more in the colors of the Nightfall version. So maybe with a different head, you never know. So we'll just have to wait it out, but it is listed as a Nightfall Asbat. So pretty nice. After that, you did have a Scarecrow from Infinite Frontier. Now, this is gonna be, you know, make a lot of people mad because it's not gonna be a original old school scarecrow version is going to be from infinite frontier where he kind of looks more <laughs> uh crazy like i think he has those needle uh syringes on his fingers and he has a gas mask and he looks pretty creepy well i'm i'm open to all new characters that they want to give us eventually they should have a chance to give us a more classic scarecrow so i don't poo poo on this this choice i just you know it, Todd likes that horror stuff so you know all in all maybe a cool addition to the collection and for definitely I'll pick it up so you are getting a, a new scarecrow figure now this one actually I've really been looking forward to and and kind of dreaming about and that is the Superman from the worlds of war like future state version uh, where he's like kind of like a barbarian looking Superman <laughs> looks right down my alley uh, like the design and uh, if we do get that version, uh, I'm going to be pretty happy about it. So uh, pretty interested to see how the final version looks. So that's a cool listing that they have. And then next on the list was Static Shock from the New 52. Now this will not be the old school milestone version that I really love of Static Shock with the cap. It's going to be a more you know modern version with the colors the yellow and and blue so it's not a big deal but uh, i really love that old school static shock version but huh? a lot of people will be happy to hear this one and then you have one that i think a lot of people have been waiting for and that is talon now it'll be interesting to see how it finally looks because there's lots of you know different little versions of talon but usually this one is an army builder that people use uh, it all depends, you know, how, how he looks, if you could use him as an army builder. A lot of people like Talon, and I'm sure a lot of people are going to be anticipating that one. Now, one that everybody should stop crying about is going to be <laughs> uh, Deathstroke, the Rebirth version. So a more comic book accurate. We did get the original video game Arkham version, but now this one is a more comic book accurate version. Hopefully we get it and everybody's happy. Uh, I'm down for a new Deathstroke, so pretty cool, pretty sweet. Now, he will probably not have guns, but, of course, Warner Brothers is controlling that, and we've pretty much learned to live with it. So, all in all, nice little uh, reveal there that we might get a new Deathstroke. Now, one that I've actually seen the costume before, but I never knew what it was, and that is Batman Speeding Bullets. I know this version because of the chest emblem, and he's kind of like has a creepy looking cape like a creepy design but we'll love to add another batman to the collection and definitely a unique batman that we've never seen before so that uh batman speeding bullets uh, interests me 
even if it doesn't interest a lot of people who hate that uh, a lot of this line is Batman, but you got to keep the doors open by making what sells. And people that ask for female figures and villains, I mean, they don't, those aren't what's going to keep the line going, but they will be spaced out and, you know, eventually everyone should be happy. <laughs> now, one that I'm really going to be interested to see is uh, Batrocitus, which is kind of like the Atrocitus version of Batman. He only comes out in a couple of panels in the in the Dark Knight's Metal, so pretty interesting. I mean, will they use the the Atrocitus body that they already gave us? But this is uh, this is supposed to be a single release version. I mean, supposedly. So we'll have, just have to wait and see how it all plays out. Now, one I'm sure a lot of people are going to be happy to hear is Tim Drake. Now, this one is marked as the red suit version and that's basically telling you they might use that red hood armor from the three jokers and make a finally a classic tim drake i really love that red robin with the hood with the cowl but you know happy to get all the bat family members we can you know so pretty interesting a lot of people are going to be happy about that one now they also have listed a uh, hush superman well, now that we have Hush and the, and the Hush Batman, we should be uh, happy to get the Hush Superman, especially with some cool uh, accessories for the laser eyes. Or maybe they'll just be painted red. We'll have to wait and see. Now this one, actually, I'm really anticipating, and that is Dark Flash from the Speed Metal, uh, Dark Knight's Metal version of flash which kind of looks like wally west but with a blue costume so you might know where that's going but i really dig the color scheme on this guy and i'm really excited to add another speedster to the collection i, I actually like a lot of the dark metal stuff even though a lot of people don't like it and complain about it i love those original sculpts and those you know versions of characters that we never thought we would see and and <laughs> probably never see again but um those are the ones that I most like adding to my collection. Then they also do have listed a uh, Shazam. Now, <laughs> now that's all it says, but basically it's probably going to be a regular Shazam Captain Marvel comic version, or it could be the newer New 52 version. Either ways, another cool Shazam figure to add to the collection. So people stop crying about McFarlane putting out the infected shazam <laughs> you're gonna get your regular shazam version wipe those tears now one of these is listed as batman 30th anniversary edition now this could be anything it could be a new design it could be a classic uh gray and blue design you know with the black trunk so gonna be pretty interesting to see what it finally is but that's how it is listed batman 30th anniversary edition and then finally something I, I had heard before but I wasn't sure about but now it is on the list and that is a five pack of the Bat Family now we don't know exactly which versions that have been released are going to be on there but hopefully they do go the comic book classic uh, figures but it is a Bat Family five pack so be interested to see where that goes and then the last thing is a Build-A-Figure Wave, and it is Arkham City. Now you should have the Batman in there. Also listed is Catwoman. You will also be getting Penguin from Arkham City, which I would have to think is like, you know, the DC Collectibles version is what it's going to pretty much look like. And then our first Ray Shao Ghoul from the collection will be released, which is going to be the Ray Shao Ghoul from... Arkham City so that one's like an armored uh, sword wielding version so well, happy to pick them up and finally the build a figure should be Solomon Grundy but we're not sure but I mean that's the rumors that have been out so it'll be uh, interesting to see how big they make them because I mean just depending on which way they go he could be massive which he's supposed to be but he could just be you know a, a pretty bulky sized collect to build figure so we'll have to find out but anyway guys i'm really interested to see all that stuff now this is kind of puts a stake in the heart 
to everyone that keeps, you know, running their mouth and saying that McFarland's going to lose the license because of his decisions and all, uh, we're never going to get other characters and all that because this shows you that we are actually headed into the golden days of newer figures, classic releases, and I am certainly grateful to be here for this collection. So, you guys, keep it cool out there. See you on the next one. Used to call me Crazy Joe, but now they can call me Fat Man.